my soul too apt to stray a stricter watch to keep and should I Once again, we have an opportunity to be taught by God's Word. He cares about us. He even says that he knows what's going on in the life of a sparrow and that we are so much more valuable. Thank you, Jesus, that you find value and worth in us enough to die for us. We do not deserve that. We thank you. Help us to sing out in praise to you. Amen.
Good morning and welcome to worship. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. What a joy to be worshiping together from the sanctuary at Zion. Of course, this morning it's just Mr. Harger and I, but we are looking forward to and preparing for that day soon when we will be able to gather again safely, keeping everyone healthy and safe, for our own good and for the good of our community. We will be sure to let you know as we progress toward that day. But what a joy to be leading worship from the house of the Lord again this morning. Today we celebrate the third Sunday after Pentecost. and We also celebrate Father's Day. Our theme for this day is, His Eye is on the Sparrow. Let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Old Testament reading is from Jeremiah chapter 20. O Lord, you have deceived me, and I was deceived. You are stronger than I, and you have prevailed. I have become a laughingstock all the day. Everyone mocks me. For whenever I speak, I cry out, I shout, violence and destruction. For the word of the Lord has become for me a reproach and derision all day long. If I say, I will not mention him or speak any more in his name, there is in my heart as it were a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I am weary with holding it in, and I cannot. For I hear many whispering, terror is on every side, denounce him, let us denounce him, say all my close friends, wat watching for my fall. Perhaps he will be deceived, and when we can overcome him and take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me as a dread warrior, therefore my persecutors will stumble. They will not overcome me, they will be greatly shamed, for they will not succeed. Their eternal dishonor will never be forgotten. 
O Lord of hosts, who tests the righteous, who sees the heart and the mind, let me see your vengeance upon them, or to you I have committed my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the life of the needy from the land of the evildoers. This is the word of the Lord. Good morning kids, today is Father's Day and we want to give thanks to the many important things that dads do. We brought some things to this morning that remind us of some of the things that dads do. This is a wrench. It can be used to fix stuff in the household. This is a soccer ball. Some dads like to play games and sports with their kids. These are car keys. Some dads like to drive their families to places that they need to go. This is a wallet. It has money in it that da that dads use to buy things that they need, that their families need, like clothing, food, and other good things. This that is just a few of the things that dads often like to do. But each dad has their own special way of helping us out. Since this is Father's Day, it is the perfect time to remember all that they do and to take time to say thank you to them. If you don't have a dad living with you, make sure to say thank you to the people that help look after you. The Bible says that all of us have God as a father as well. Although we can't see him, he is real. He knows us, he watches over us, and he loves us so much. So I hope you can take the time today to say thank you to your dad or whoever looks after you. Also take the time to say thank you to God our Heavenly Father because he is looking after us too. Let us, let us pray. Thank you God for dads. They are very important and we are grateful for all they do. Also, thank you for all the people that look after us and care for us. We also want to thank God because all of us have you as a wonderful Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, we want to give a shout out to all the dads out there, and we want to especially uh, be reminded that our Heavenly Father, He wants to adopt us. He wants to call us His kids. And when we receive Him and believe in His name, we are His kids. Thank you so much, Heavenly Father for adopting us and making us your children. We thank you. Receive our praise. Amen. You unravel me with a melody. You surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemy.
Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 10th chapter. Glory to you, O God. These twelve Jesus sent out, instructing them, Brother will deliver brother over to death, and the father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death, and you will be hated by all my name's sake. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to the next, for truly, I say to you, you will not have gone through all the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. A disciple is not above his teacher, nor a servant above his master. It is enough for the disciple to be like his teacher and the servant like his master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more will they malign those of his household? So have no fear of them, for nothing is covered that will not be revealed, or hidden that will not be known. What I tell you in the dark, say in the light, and what you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. But even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, you are of, mar are of more value than many sparrows. So everyone who acknowledges me before men, I also will acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I also will deny before my Father who is in heaven. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Dearly loved and precious children of God, brothers and sisters in Christ, grace to you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, it's great to be back in the pulpit again, bringing God's word to you from the beauty of Zion's sanctuary. If you weren't with us at the welcome to the service, we are back in the sanctuary, at least Mr. Harger and I, for our taping of our worship this morning. And we are also actively preparing for that day when God's people can gather again safely and smoothly in God's house for worship together. We want to make sure that we're complying with all of our county and state regulations and that we're doing everything in a careful and safe manner for our community and for the greater community around us. But I'm back in the pulpit, uh, no longer as it were in the pulpit of God's creation, but bringing the same timeless and unchanging good news of God's grace in Jesus Christ to you today. Our text for this day, the third Sunday after Pentecost, and this Father's Day, is two verses from St. Matthew's Gospel, the 10th chapter, verses 29 and 31. Jesus said, Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. Fear not, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. This is our text. Last Sunday, we talked about the eagle. The eagle is that magnificent and splendid creature of God's special design. Majestic in beauty and powerful in speed. God deliberately chose the image of the eagle to describe his caring love for his people, 
his protection and his provision for his people then and today. Last week we looked at Exodus chapter 19, verse 4, where God declared, I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. So great is the Father's love for us that he cares for us in every time of need and safely carries us to himself to lead us through this earthly life to life eternal with him in heaven. As God provided for his people in the Old Testament, so God provides for us today as well. Today we have the opportunity to look at another creature from God's winged kingdom. But compared to the glorious eagle, this particular bird you could say is at the far other end of the spectrum. This bird is extremely common, the common sparrow. In fact, because of the sparrow's adaptability to a wide range of environments and locations, it is the most found and locatable bird all over planet Earth. You would be hard pressed to find anywhere a more familiar and ordinary bird than the common sparrow. And that is the precisely the point of Jesus' comparison. As in Exodus 19, verse 4, God chose one of his winged creation to describe his love for his people, so today Jesus as well picks up a bird from the other end of the spectrum also to describe his love and care for us. Jesus asked, are not two sparrows sold for a penny? The market value of sparrows was so low that even the smallest coin in Jesus' day would easily buy more than one of them. And yet they represent even so little value in the human economy, in God's economy, his eye is on the sparrow. That is to say, not even a single sparrow worth less than a penny, half a penny, falls to the ground apart from the Father's watchful eye and caring will. Jesus continued, not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your Father. Not even the common sparrow falls to the ground apart from the love and provision of the creator of the universe. Well, what does that mean for us? Jesus explained, Fear not, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Reasoning from the lesser to the greater, Jesus assured his hearers and us that God the Father knows our needs and will provide for all of them according to his good and gracious will in Christ Jesus. Such is the love of our Heavenly Father for us. Today we celebrate Father's Day. We thank God for our earthly fathers, and we pray that God will bless our fathers with wisdom and patience, with grace and peace as they lead in Christ in their homes, and in our world. And on this Father's Day, we also thank God that He is our loving Heavenly Father. God the Father protects us, provides for us, and blesses us with all that we need to know our Father in Heaven and to glorify and honor His Son, Jesus Christ, in our lives on this earth. His eye is on the sparrow, and much more than that, his eye is on you and me. Jesus himself made it clear that God the Father delights to hear our prayers, 
and always responds in his perfect timing and according to his perfect will. In John 16, Jesus solemnly declared, Truly, truly, I say to you, whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. And again, in that day you will ask in my name, and I do not say to you that I will ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. Our Heavenly Father hears our prayers for Jesus' sake, who died for our sins and rose again for our justification. And so on this Father's Day, even as we honor our earthly fathers, we especially give thanks to God for our Heavenly Father. And we are reminded again that even as God provides earthly fathers to provide for our earthly needs, so our Heavenly Father graciously provides for all our needs of body and soul, now and forever. Dr. Martin Luther, in his explanation to the Lord's Prayer, wrote this, Our Father who art in heaven, what does this mean? With these words, God tenderly invites us to believe that he is our true father and that we are his true children so that with all boldness and confidence we may ask him as dear children ask their dear father. Such is the love of our heavenly father for us. His eye is on the sparrow. And much more than that, his eye is on you and me. In Jesus' name, amen. Now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds through faith in Christ Jesus to life eternal. Amen. All right, let's give our all to the one who gave his all, Jesus.
by the power of your Spirit. Amen. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. Faithful God, when we are fearful of the dangers of this life and weary of the struggle, you have been our shield and our strength. Grant to us the full measure of your grace to sustain us and help us to endure the trials and temptations of this earthly life and be faithful unto death. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Faithful God, we thank you that you care for all your creatures, large and small. Not even the smallest sparrow moves apart from your watchful eye. For your gracious promise that we are of more value than many sparrows and that you provide for all our needs of body and soul. We give you our thanks and praise and we place our lives into your all-powerful hands. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Faithful God, Father of all and Lord of the family, on this Father's Day, we give you thanks for the gift of fathers, and we pray that you would bless all fathers with your Holy Spirit, that they may rejoice in your love and be filled with all patience, peace, and strength as they serve you and care for their families. Bless those fathers who have gone before us in the faith, and let their example inspire us as we serve you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Faithful God, give healing and strength to the sick and to all afflicted in body or mind, and grant to those who struggle the gift of peace of mind and heart. We pray especially for Barb Van Fossen, who is recovering from surgery last Monday, that you grant her peace of mind, healing of body, and full restoration of health and strength according to your will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Faithful God, we pray for our national, state, and local leaders. Bless and guide them as they govern in these difficult days. We pray for all emergency responders, health care professionals, and social workers who are caring for those in need. Protect them and strengthen them as they serve our communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Taught by our Lord and trusting his promises, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. All right, let's sing our closing song, the traditional closing song, To God Be the Glory. He deserves it. Let's sing to him. My friends,